Hi there and welcome to a new in action. My name is Oliver from Spitfire Audio and in this one we're going to look at the music I've written for the Solo Strings trailer. The Spitfire Solo Strings, the long-awaited missing piece of the puzzle to complete the symphonic range. So in this one we're going to look at the sounds, some of my favourite sounds of the library and how I approach the composition and scoring to picture. Let's have a look at the trailer. So in my first section here, uh, I kind of focused on textures rather than harmonic structures and chords. And I just thought I underline here the these beautiful kind of emotions of, of the players, like the close-up shots of the face with, with some very gentle sounds. And one of those gentle sounds is the bass, long harmonics, which I absolutely love. And I love using the close mics because you can hear all the little details like the bow change is so beautifully done and beautifully recorded. And I pan here the bass a little bit to the right. Some of you have asked before whether I pan the stuff and usually I don't if it's kind of recorded in the hall like with a full orchestra. But since it's the solo players, um, you might have to help a little bit and pan them and put them in the right kind of position. Um, and on this one, I just kind of liked making the field really wide and it's kind of to demonstrate each of the sounds have their uh, own dedicated space where they can kind of sit in and shine. What I then did is the Colegno Tratto, which is one of my other favorite sounds, the violin. And the violin, if you uh, want to check out Paul's walkthrough, he's going to explain that in detail. There is uh, several violins, just as a quick information. So we have Virtuoso, First Desk and Progressive. So you, you can choose which kind of character uh, you like the most. Here I'm using the progressive violin. Just setting this kind of beautiful dreamlike tone to go again, to go with the expression uh, of the players. And then this trem whisper, which is kind of uh, slightly more of a tone or of a note than the Colegno Trato, because Colegno Trato is they play with the back of the bow, and here they just uh, do very gently creating this kind of whisper. And with those three kind of articulations, I'm setting and opening the tone. And again, not really thinking harmonically or chord-wise. Beautiful.
And again, the panning, so you can hear the three instruments. So this the trem whisper sits the furthest on the left, and the collegno trazzo is kind of slightly more to the middle, and then the bass, the bass on the right. And then the viola here, which takes kind of the lead line with this beautiful uh, progressive uh, vibrato, if I just play a little bit here. Very expressive kind of longs, so you don't have to pro uh, program the vibrato yourself because we recorded it in that way, and through that it kind of comes across much more natural. Then uh, I'm bringing in some cello harmonics as well. Again, big fan of the harmonics. Slightly pans, a little less than the bass. So I wanted to create the, your, your traditional setup with violins, viola, cello and bass from left to right. Let me just play you the first section again so you can follow here as well with the MIDI information. And then here, bringing in some harmonic structure and the bass with a picture of the bass in there. The progressive vibrato in the cello. And then it goes into the next section where I kind of took more of a harmonic approach and the only thing here I wanted to land on on the fifth of the C minor because here I'm starting with C minor the new section so I wanted to land on G uh, minor seven just to create a little bit of expectation and here again the bass comes in like beautiful longs uh, progressive vibrato Really nice and raspy and kind of with a close mic here as well, uh, right right up front. And I try to hit some of the cuts uh, of, the, of the trailer, but don't make it too obvious. So I don't try to like ex exactly capture when they play uh, a, a note and then stop it to exactly play and stop it at the same time. I just want to capture some moments and like dive in in and out with the picture if, if you know what I mean so like when here the bass starts playing we have the picture of the bass so it kind of feels like right and that that then you bring in that low raspy sounds but then for the rest I'm just capturing the emotion rather than trying to Mickey Mouse what's what's on the picture and then here I felt like the picture is taking a little bit of pace so I wanted to bring in more uh, chord changes and a bit of a pro progression and what I then did so I left this in for you just to to demonstrate how I kind of right uh, sometimes or one of the approaches uh, which is with the chamber flautando um, sounds and patch which is kind of one of my favorites And that's kind of how I then thought, okay, that's nice. I, I'm just going to play for you the exact line. And I played it very sloppy, so there's not really that much dynamic control going on. And I played it with a pedal, so some notes are overlapping.
these shots are just absolutely amazing and really inspiring to write to. If you if you, if you see their faces and how, how they're into it and kind of each note is like beautifully crafted. And I kind of wanted to give this like almost heroic, nostalgic kind of feel. And like also finally <laughs> the solo strings are here. So it's kind of this chord progression kind of fits it for me emotionally. Yet it was a little slow. So what I thought is, okay, I'm going to bring in some shorts and uh, do some kind of ostinato movements. And so I first had this cello movement here on the solo string as well. And just replicating the chords with these uh, short notes here. Very simple, but then it gets a little more um, complex when adding the violas. Just going to play you that separately as well. And I'm using the short brushed uh, consort, so it's kind of a soft one, so I'm not using the, the spiccato or, or feathered um, shorts, and it kind of softens a little bit uh, the attack. Then I'm bringing in the first violin as well. Here I'm using the first desk violin, so it's kind of a slightly different tone than a progressive one. Again, uh, pants, uh, sharp or like uh, heavy to the left. So, and the only thing I could do, I guess, is take down the strength of the um, quantize a little bit because it sounds almost a little too robotic, but I will fine tune that later on. And then I thought, okay, how, this is nice, but how can I just make it a bit stronger, even, even more epic? And then I was like, let's just double it up and bring in the whole orchestra. So I brought in halfway through, I just doubled up these exact lines. and bring them in a bit later, now. And I kind of only uh, use the tree and the ambient mic to just create that depth, so you have the solo strings right up front, close mic, and then the exact same line uh, replicated uh, with the whole orchestra, um, tree and ambient mic. And I feel it gives that kind of, ah, kind of moment, you know. And then here I'm using the virtuoso legato for a little melody line. And so it's, I'm using two violins, uh, but I have, have them pan slightly differently so you can hear exactly the differences and they don't kind of mix with each other. And then I'm bringing in the cello as soon as the whole orchestra comes in and the low bass again, progressive kind of vibrato to really make it uh, big. see in, in the shots they're more emotional as well and the cut is faster, the pace of the picture, so it kind of fits perfectly um, in my opinion. <laughs> And then they're kind of Mickey Mousing the last um, hit, so the last stop of the cello, which I thought is a, is a perfect moment to cut the music. And then have the, the harmonics in a true Spitfire trailer manner, just tailing off and going into the logo.
Cool. Uh, I think that was already it. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section. If you like it, hit like. And I hope you get to enjoy the Spitfire Solar Strings. Thank you very much for listening and watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.